Happy Saturday. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. And I'll be right back with a few ways to make my life easier that I've actually done these quick tips. So hopefully it'll help you out too. Be right back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, this is Jan. Welcome to another episode on the Save Money and More with Jan channel. How's everybody doing today? Most of the time I talk about saving money, but every once in a while, you're going to hear is what I call an end more kind of topic. Now, these quick tips, they're life making life easier. Well, they have made my life easier. And I thought that I would definitely share some of these ideas with you. And who knows, maybe it'll help you out. I believe they would. One of them is like, if you know some people that, well, they kind of tend to bring on negative information. I'm talking about not necessarily a news media outlet or a TV show or an article in a newspaper or a magazine, but like real life people, associations that we know, like for whatever the reason, I wouldn't know the reason, but there are some people in this world that like the first thing, it could be a beautiful, bright, sunny day. I mean, everything could be going, it, you know, in their direction, it seems anyway. But still, some people like to find fault in a lot of things. And for whatever the reason, they just say negative stuff a lot. So one of the things that I have learned in my 65 and a half years of living on this planet is what I do is I don't dwell on hanging around this type of personality too long for me, it kind of like brings you down. And sometimes they tend to like be gossipers and stuff like that. And I personally don't, don't like to ever get involved in listening to things like that because my attitude is this, if they do it with someone to someone, they'll do it with someone meaning gossip. So for me, staying away from gossip, gossipy types, complaining types, negative information types. It just makes my day feel better. It just does. It's not necessary in my mind's eye to hang around, you know, negative information, gossip type personalities. There's so much life to live. And to me, it's a time waster. This is the way I feel about it. And hopefully that'll help you out. Uh, next, Keep in mind that most of life's problems or difficulties actually have a solution. I would say, with the rare exception of a few situations that are out of our hands, and there are some, some life situations that, you know, we have zero control of, you know, those things happening um, around us, but every problem has a solution. So keeping in mind the theory, and it's a good one, that Every problem has a solution. If you keep that in mind, it just feels better to know that, honestly. So keeping that bright, sunny attitude of every problem or everything has a solution. And to me, I don't know, it has helped me out over the years. Just thought I'd share that with you. Um, also next, create clear lines of personal boundaries, things that Clearly, you project to to people that, you know, maybe crossing a boundary line, whether it's, you know, an improper uh, discussion or, you know, disrespectful, disrespectful uh, situations that that is just not for you. That's like, you know, like we like draw the line, say, OK, and whatever. And then you kind of like walk away from it sometimes is actually the best. I find that that's a good thing. And. When people know you long enough, they realize, oh, no, I'm not, not going to touch that subject with so-and-so. <laughs> so for me, it works. It works. Uh, next, give yourself permission sometimes for the gift of goodbye. Sometimes goodbye is a really good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There could be uh, situations with uh, toxic-minded uh, individuals that um, – you don't really want to pursue a relationship with, you don't have to pursue the relationship with. And so, you know, in a quiet way, some, you just like limit your dealings uh, with people that bring on uh, too much toxicity in, in your life. These, these things, you know, 
only the person can figure that out for themselves, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So permitting oneself to the gift of goodbye at times is sometimes one of the best gifts one could give themselves. And this is kind of related. Practicing two words. There are times when it's better to say yes, and there are times when it's literally better to actually say no. Sometimes no. No is a two-letter word, and it sometimes is really, really hard for some people. But I'll tell you one thing, no is a powerful word. It really, you know, doesn't require too many explanations. No is no. <laughs> no is no. And sometimes, uh, not saying close the door to everything in life, because sometimes we have to say the word yes and should say the word yes, because we don't want to deprive ourselves of maybe, let's say, for example, trying a new food or a new beverage or, or considering a new place to travel if you've never been there and you want to you know, say yes to learning more, for example, about another uh, person, place, or thing. So there are times to wisely you know, use the word yes. And of course, yes to golden opportunities, right? There you go. Next, self-honesty. Well, listen, self-honesty is really, really essential. I mean, who are you fooling? <laughs> you know, I could see through people sometimes. I don't know, maybe it's a gift. I, I, I don't know. I, I could see when somebody's just like putting on airs just to impress. Listen, I don't have time for that. I am me. People are going to like people 50% of the time. People are not going to like somebody 50% of the time. And I'm not going to concern myself about all that for 100% of the time. That's my opinion. So be your honest, authentic self in life. And the folks who really, really, really see you as you are, as you know, the wonderful person that you are. And, you know, I like to be celebrated. I don't want to be tolerated. This is me. Everybody has their own, you know, list, but I'm telling you, for me, this list is very, very important. The next thing I suggest, and I know it sounds like it has nothing to do with anything, but wait, before I forget, I want us to remember to do the, as soon as I find it, let's not forget to do the following. Saving money should never, ever, ever go out of style. It is always in style and always cool to save money. There you go. As far as I'm concerned, anyway, there you go. Next, let's talk about some really good uh, life decisions that I've made. Decluttering. Decluttering is good for the soul. It's not only visually better, it just is better. Because what we're doing, sometimes we're approaching like unknown territories. Sometimes you don't have to even leave your house sometimes to be adventurous. I'm telling you, like going on the decluttering your home or apartment adventure. Ooh. And then you come across things that you might have looked at as obstacles while you're decluttering. Then you realize some of them are treasures. And what are you going to do with them? It's kind of fun. It's a fun adventure. Again, positive attitude for even decluttering is wonderful. Most of the time, people spend way too much time angsting over it. Oh, I don't want to declutter. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, cleaning out the closet. Oh, cleaning out the drawer. You see where I'm going with that. Sometimes the dread and the anxiety over the dread is way, way worse than actually doing it. Recently, one of my dear commenters went, you know, specifically told me the whole story about, you know, certain tests that, that she was doing and uh, she got it done in no time. And, and the dread sometimes is worse. And, and definitely I agree. And next, uh, finally for today, uh, reward yourself every once in a while, reward yourself for milestones that only, you know, you made yes, reward yourself, maybe go out and uh, get that, um, you know, uh, vanilla milkshake that you've been craving for three months and said no to, or, or uh, you want to reward yourself in, in some other way. Maybe take $5 and go to the dollar store and get yourself a couple of little little fun things that you don't really necessarily need 
but you just may have wanted. Little treats, little treats. No way for other people to acknowledge your milestone. Everybody's way too busy trying to figure themselves out, let alone to figure somebody else's situation out. That's the way I look at it. I, I don't wait for other people to acknowledge, you know, my milestones. I know that the good Lord is watching and he acknowledges my milestones. And when I know my own milestones in the, in the middle of the whole thing, sure, I'll treat myself to something every once in a while. But I also want to thank you again. I want to show you my appreciation in this video clip. <laughs> One day I have to remind myself to play that song in its entirety. It's very, very cute. All right, everybody, have an amazing, fantastic weekend. Whatever you do, have a safe and fun weekend. Don't forget to click, like, share, and what? Subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate every single one of you. Let's end it on a great note. Have a great day, everybody.